You know, that albino animals are extremely rare. But in spite of this fact, albinos can be met almost everywhere. In the sea, in the air, and on the ground. In animal and human world. These unbelievable creatures lack pigmentation, and it happens because of genetic mutations that influence the production of a pigment called melanin. There are special cells, the melanocytes, that are responsible for giving skin, hair, and eyes pigmentation. In albinism, the melanocytes are present but do not function fully. But not all white animals are albinos. There are other conditions that influence the coloration. For example, leucism, when animals partially loss of color. To differentiate these conditions, we can just look at the eyes, because albinos ones are generally red. As for the animals with leucism, they have usual eye color. So now, let's have a look at 10 most impressive albinos in natural world. Ten, a whale. Talking about albino whales, the one particular thing comes to the people's minds. The old story about Moby Dick, written by Herman Melville in 1851, makes these unique creatures much more mysterious. Albino individuals of different whale species were met several times, and every time they made a lot of fuss. This year in March, the scuba instructor Manuel Gonzalez posted to Facebook an impressive video of a gray whale that he had caught on camera near the west coast of Baja California, Mexico. In 1993, a white humpback whale was first spotted in the waters near Australia. Later, near the coast of Norway, there was one more humpback whale seen. Now, it is thought to be a father of two white calves that were spotted along the eastern coast of Australia, near their natural colored mother. There is one more albino celebrity among gray whales. In 2008, researchers found it not far from the coast of California and named Milk Gallon. It was also seen one more time in 2016, with a normal colored calf near him. These giants are impressive and extremely beautiful. 9. A penguin Birds much more often can have leucism instead of albinism. To differentiate them, just look at their eyes color. But this nice guy is a real albino. He was born in the zoo of the Polish city Gdansk in mid-December and was under the constant care of specialists. Having albinism, it is prone to diseases, as it lacks a protective black pigment. As many other albino individuals, this cutie could have a lot of difficulties in the wild. Firstly, because they are too distinctive to hide from predators and can be attacked very easily. Besides, it could be rejected by the penguin community, as very odd and different from others. There is great possibility for such things for all albinos in nature. 8. An alligator Albino alligators have the same problems in the wild. They often have a very short lifespan, as from the time they are born, they became an obvious target for the predators. They have another great problem, a very sensitive skin because of the lack of melanin protection against the sun. It's very essential for reptiles, as they spend a lot of time basking for warmth. Fortunately, people understand that, and there are a lot of special preserves around the world that help them to survive. For instance, this 10-year-old female gator, Pearl by name, lives in Florida's Gatorland Preserve. She lacks melanin completely, and her whole body with sharp teeth are white, except the eyes that are red. White alligators are very popular in the zoos and are bred in captivity very well. There are several zoos that have such treasures. For example, this 21-year-old true albino named Claude who lives at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. Many separate breeders are eager to have them in their own collections. Or this one, a 16-year-old albino American alligator, Snowflake by name. He is 7 feet long. Living in Florida's St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park, he sometimes travels around the USA. In spite of sharp teeth and large size, these creatures look very delicate. 7. A Whale Shark 
This enormous albino fish is like a real legend, because only few people saw it and there are almost no video or pictures of it. Divers were shocked to see this beauty in the waters near Galapagos Islands. Everything we have are just a few shots. It was spotted by a diver and a naturalist, Antonio Moriano, when he took a group of tourists on a nature cruise. Antonio had to free dive 50 feet down to get these pictures. Since no one had seen this astonishing animal before, they say it is the only one in the world. But who knows? 6. A bat Several bats to be more precise. Scientists did a research that showed that about 17 specimens of 43 species of bats had been officially recorded, but they are still very rare. This one, for instance, was unexpectedly found in the Odaisan National Park in Korea during the park inspection. As the representatives of the park said, this creature is a mutated variant of a greater horseshoe bat, which is typical in Korea. This bat is lucky, because in Korea, white animals are thought to bring good fortune, and people take tender care about this unusual creature. 5. A turtle we all know, the destiny of newborn turtles can be very tough if they are not bred in captivity. For example, only one of a thousand sea turtles lives to maturity. So, the albino sea turtle is supposed to have a much harder time surviving. There are no records about an albino sea turtle living up to nest. Considering this, a little cutie Albi by name, which was found by a group of volunteers from the Coulomb and North Shore Coast Care, is like a complete treasure. The volunteers spend their days helping baby sea turtles to get safely to the water, which will become their future home. They saw this tiny thing waddling as fast as it could toward the ocean. There are also albinos among other turtle species. Some of them are very popular among breeders as they are extremely beautiful. Thanks to that, albino individuals have chance to grow in number. 4. An African Clawed Frog These frogs were bred by Moscow aquarists for keeping at home. The albino frogs have pink-yellow body and pink eyes, as all albinos have. The selective breeding made the albino African clawed frog a bit bigger than other species. Besides, they like people and are easy to tame. Specialists don't know why, but the albinos feel more comfortable being alone and in less tanks in size. But sorry to say, their lifespan is shorter than other clawed frogs. 3. A Kangaroo As you already can guess, albino kangaroos are also very rare in nature. They have no normal coloring for comfort living in a very hot and desert regions of Australia. These kangaroo albinos, as other animals and people, also have very sensitive skin and eyes and are in danger of sunburn. Besides, their snowy color makes them too vivid to the land predators and birds of prey. Albinism sometimes gives individuals that obtain it a poor eyesight. Albino kangaroo have these problems too. But fortunately, we have the proofs that some of them grew up and live among their wild relatives of normal coloration. Of course, some conservational organizations do a lot of good trying to help these unique kangaroos to live a happy life. 2. A Python There are a lot of albinos among snakes, and all of them are incredibly beautiful. Albino snakes can produce other pigments in addition to melanin, so they may not appear fully white. Besides, they may be lacking a particular coloration that is typical. For example, a snake that is usually yellow, white, and red might only be yellow and white, though their eyelids are always red and sometimes they have reduced eyesight, as many albinos have. Thanks to these unusual characteristics, people adore albino snakes. Collections are eager to get them, in spite of the fact they cost a lot. The most popular are different species of pythons, ball python, Burmese python, Indian python, even born in the wild, these snakes almost have no chance to grow up, as they don't have any camouflage and predators can find them easily. But in captivity, there are many so-called albino morphs of great number of coloration. So, 
artificial breeding helps albino pythons to live a very long and comfortable life. 1. A gorilla, or snowflake, is the only one known to zoologist albino western lowland gorilla. He was born approximately in 1964 in the wild in Equatorial Guinea. In 1966, he was taken to the Barcelona Zoo in Spain. Snowflake lived a happy life, as other gorillas in that zoo did. He had 22 children, but no one received his albino mutation. At the end of his life, he got a skin cancer. The reason is simple. He has no melanin that could protect him from the sun. But his lifespan was really long, about 40 years. Gorillas usually live about 25 years. The scientists took Snowflake's blood and made DNA tests and found out that Snowflake's albinism was the result of inbreeding, an unusual practice for his species. The albino mutation in people and animals happens only if both mom and dad give this gene to a child. Snowflake's parents were an uncle and a niece, as researchers say. Their DNA had some of the same genes, one of which happened to be the rare albinism mutation. And such combination is not likely to happen again. But the albinos are met among us too, as you know. There is one albino in 20,000 people. And as in the animal world, there is no difference in race or ethnic groups for albinism. And people also suffer the same problems with eyesight and the skin protection from the sun as animals do. The attitude towards albino people also differs. The albinos have long been villainized in literature and pop culture. Besides, they are not often taken by the society and sometimes even hunted because of some superstitions like the albinos in Tanzania. But today, albinos, both among people and animals, are protected by different organizations because these unique individuals are no less important than others. I hope this video was interesting to you. Tell me, what albino animals do you like the most 